Welcome to another edition of Commercial Chaos. Again, um, thank you to Mad Clown for getting this pack ready and everybody who submitted. Um, this is the FU It's January edition, and in 30 seconds, I'll be able to tell you exactly what that title is. For now, though, we're going to play Guess the Commercial, and we will see. I'm going to be playing along because I have not seen these commercials myself. Of course, this is the segment where we check out gaming commercials, old commercials, weird commercials, mobile games, and, you know, all the rest. So, guess the commercial. Doing it wet, doing it hot. Kawasaki Jet Ski? Wait, what are they doing it? They're doing... Is this Wave Race commercial? It's gum? Oh, it's a Sea Dew Jet Ski? All right, that's an easy one. It's a Sea Dew Jet Ski commercial. Obviously. Hang on, I'm just uh, messing with the limiter a little bit so it doesn't get so crusty. Hey, Frank. Uh, how's it going? How's the word around the offices? You have and a. You got dysentery. Yikes. You hear John in finance uh, got bit by a snake this weekend? Tony's whole family wiped out. Drowned. Oregon Trail. Hey, guys, I shot a bear. Oregon Trail. But the one from the late 90s? Oh, it's on Facebook. Okay. I didn't even know there was an Oregon Trail in Facebook. Weird. Potentially lost commercial. Okay. Chat is immediately saying, oh no, as if the fruits are going to start fucking. Oh, it's the fuck you, it's January edition. It's runts? Screaming fruit winders? That's weird. Remember the drink commercial? I, listen, I too felt slightly uneasy upon seeing, you know, like, yes, I know what you mean. I, yes, it's possible that things could get real weird. I didn't think our marriage would survive. It was really awful. Both of us kept everything pent up until one of us would just explode. Hey, stupid! What kind of a meal was that? You were... Then we discovered Tekken 3. <laughs> what? You know what? I was actually going to say a fighting game. 40 years of macaroni and cheese. That's for never saying I'm sorry. I don't know why. And this is for your mother. That's for the loser that you are, Patrick. Vinny, there's an audio desync. Really? I don't, um, I think the audio desync might just be on some of the older commercials. But, yeah, everything seems to be okay here. So this is medium easy difficulty. Guess the commercial. Um, it well, it's in Mexico in Breaking Bad because the you know everything's yellow. I feel like I've seen seen this commercial. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Sierra oh. Mist. Taste one shockingly refreshing lemon lime. Is that David Spade? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's David Spade. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Sierra Mist. Taste one shockingly refreshing lemon lime. How much money do you think you got for that commercial? 20K? Anyway, rest in peace, David Spade. No, he's still around. Uh, but yeah, that's that's got to be an easy paycheck. And a lifetime supply of Sierra Mist. 
which here's the trick. If you drink the lifetime supply of Sierra Mist, your life gets shorter. Son again, now on Engage. Oh boy. I bet that was a good game. On that cool Goatsy console. I'm serious, by the way, when I say Goatsy console. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, Mad Clown, did you actually translate? I think Mad Clown translated this. Yeah! But <laughs> Do <laughs> No, no, oh, no. Okay. Thank you. I was gonna say it's too late. Oh, I like how that all ended in a yo my wife joke. UFO? I feel like UFO is probably out of this world. Everything happens to me. I'm broke. Can't pay my bills. I think I'm cursed. I'm just bad luck. Stop. If you're tired of bad <laughs> luck, if you think your life is jinxed, now you can change it with E. David Scott's curse removal. Oh my Call God, no. Follow simple instructions. It really works. Within two days, I won this card and no. drawing at $20,000. Call and let positive forces instantly cast away the evil spirits that bring you bad luck. It, that's Dial David Spade again. For entertainment only. That's Under definitely David permission. Spade. Call now and remove the jinx from your life. Phoenix, Arizona. He grew up in Scottsdale. That's definitely David Spade. Chat. That's an SNL skit. Okay, actually, it kind of looks like a Tim and Eric bit. But uh, you know what? I've seen weirder things be real, so this possibly could be real. But imagine imagine things just not going your way, and you called this guy. It said for entertainment only. Well, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Because you call, and then suddenly, you like a toe is lost. You're like, I called up and now I'm missing a toe. You can't sue them. Also, David Spade is from Scottsdale. David Scott. Hmm. Nice try, David Spade. I don't know why I know that, by the way. This is Cassidy. Hello, Cassidy. I'm going to inform you that we're giving you a raise of 10000 a year. Cool. Thank you. I don't know what this commercial could be. Hey, Dad, I have really exciting news. I got accepted into Harvard University, and I'll be flying there sometime next month. Wow, honey. Good job. Cassidy. Hey, sweetie. I was thinking we'd go out for dinner. What do you think? I guess. Where to? Fortunato's Italian oh! market. Yes! That camera angle implies come. I'm just saying that to me, that's what I get out of this. By the way, this guy's family definitely called David Scott's hotline. He has lotion in his desk. I think that's glue chat member. You don't want to be using that to, to give a good schwangle. You don't want to do that. Same thing. Okay. Gloob. It's gloob. So this is one from Belgium. Guess the commercial. Obviously, it's a commercial for Tom and Jerry, right? It's hard to find a hole where Colgate's been. Colgate, the world's number one cavity fighter. 
that's one of those commercials that if I if I said, listen, you have to guess what this commercial is about, you would never, you would never guess it. And it's like it's cool that they got Tom and Jerry, which they probably got paid twenty k each. But I guess, I, I guess I get it. It's like a hole, mouse hole, cavity hole. This is difficulty Can't impossible. But one day, it broke. All right, there's ten seconds left in this commercial chat. Place your bets. I'm going to read through some of these. Um, college, PSP, weight loss, Lara Croft, Viagra, anti-drug, Pokemon, PlayStation, glue, Gorilla Glue, tires, condom, alcohol, Hamtaro. I think it's condoms. Kevin grew bored and died. Oh. Buy some Levi's jeans. Hmm. Go ahead and buy some Levi's. All right, next is local and world commercials. Uh, oh, I forgot to play. There's an intro retro ad. So this is um, this is something for you. What is this? It's a Wendy's Frosty. Yeah, but it's not a solid or a liquid. So? That can only mean that it's a sockwid. Yeah, not quite a solid. I've been referencing the stupid commercial. This is going to change our lives. But you know where the big money lies? I'm listening. The spoon. The what? The Frosty Spoon. The spoon. Brilliant. Try Wendy's one-of-a-kind original Frosty with its cool, creamy, chocolatey, and totally unique texture. It's the only sockwid you eat with a spoon. I hate this commercial do so much. Do it tastes right. Oh, I hate it. So uh, I've been referencing the poon lately. For some reason, it's just popped up into my mind. And people are like, Vinny, why are you making stuff up? I've never heard of this. Anyway, yeah, Sockwood Snake is a very popular video game character. Brian with a Q invented the poon. Wonderful commercial. Thank you. Here's Hi, some local. it's me, Viv, your city cafe waitress. Honey, you know city cafe. Chattanooga's classic American diner. Chattanooga. Yo, city cafe, Chattanooga's largest menu served 24-7. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anything, anytime. Hey, toots, and get me an apple pie. And over 90 fabulous desserts. Hey, City Cafe. Two locations open every day. <clears throat> bada bing, bada boom. Even Christmas and New Year's. Chad, it sounds like she's Australian doing an old-timey New York accent. I don't know what her accent is. A menu so big it can't be good. At the very least, I will say this about a lot of... We have a lot of diners here in New York and New Jersey. We are like diner states. And they're always just fine. Sometimes a little bit better. They have these massive menus, but they're good especially for just breakfast shit. Just get yourself some eggs and bacon and you're fine. Are they better than Denny's? Don't give Denny's your money. Do you know how many times there's like a, someone's water broken at Denny's? Don't, don't get, don't get Denny's. Rah! What are you doing, Mr. Volcano? It's their fault, Hello, too. Tyrannosaurus Allen. I'm filling my water with volcanicity. I Rain filters down through my handsome volcano rocks to create a, this wild a water commercial water hmm. that grabs life by the conkers and hydrates you till you shout, Come on, world, I'll have you for breakfast. Try some. Hello, my darling. Mm, yeah, it's I do me, feel Matt Berry. Come on, world, I'm Tyrannosaurus Allen and I'll have you for breakfast. Rah! Rah! Volcano filtered, so it's full of volcanicity. Yes. <laughs> okay. And that's what I meant by the, that's what I meant by the water breaking. Just the volcano exploding. Uh, yeah, that was Matt Berry. That was actually, that was great. That was a YouTube poop classic. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> 3D action game. 
Why did they say so much of that in English, though? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> That's from Japan, by the way. I just, I love the way they say those things. Like, wow, it makes it sound even more exciting. I would love to try one of those. Milka is quite good. I've tried some of their product. Because of friends like these... Give us a bite. Just a little one. We've made an ice cream snack like this. New ice cream bites. Bite-sized snacks for everyone. Golden gay time? Huh? That's from uh, New Zealand. They, they were just, yeah, they were just roommates. They were just chilling. Chilling on the couch. There's a minute there where I'm like, well, maybe that means something different in New Zealand. And then I thought about the commercial. I'm like, no, that's that's exactly what that is. <laughs> we are here at Quick Cash Pond observing Green Man in his natural habitat. Let's see how real... Just hanging with homies. <laughs> When you get more cash at Quick Cash, you'll be pumped too. Someone probably was here for this and misremembered this as a UFO. Now open in Charlotte. That's not going to be the new Who Wireless. That's too obnoxious. Who Wireless was much more innocent. But like, no, someone, someone probably was there and they ate like a bad like burrito. And they probably... They probably thought they like saw a real alien. Hang on a second, chat. We gotta take uh, we gotta take care of this commercial real quick. Uh, yeah, there was definitely some saliva on the mouth there. Just basically adding whatever I have on the desktop. Why do I have these on the desktop? I don't have an answer to that question, but let's try that again, shall we? We are here at Quick Cash Pond, observing Green Man in his natural habitat. Let's see how real customers react. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when you get more cash at Quick Cash, you'll be pumped too. It just looks like a nude meat man now. Quick Cash Pond, now open in Charlotte. Quick Cash! That's like the episode of Star Trek The Next Generation where um, Jordy gets turned into a weird like creature and like they didn't have good special effects for it. So they just like, they just used whatever they could. It, it didn't look great. That's okay though. I mean, France in the 60s. On ne joue pas avec la vie. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. What is the advertisement for? A bumper car? Excuse me, a bumper car? I don't know. Road safety. Oh. That explains it. Just a little piss on there. <laughs> Save me cheese and pepper. Um, was that that wasn't Heather Graham, was it? No, I don't think that's Heather Graham. Poop and pee man. It's David Spade. Clearly, it's David Spade. I told you call you that one is a bad guy. Put it on the bed. You... 
गद्दा कहा था इस बेचारे का नहीं आपके मोबाइल नेटवर्क का है सिर्फ यू फोन दे ऐसी साफ आवाज के बाद पूरी और सही समझ आए ओके ओह इट्स मोर यू फोन नरम सा तो है लव दैट कंपनी वी ऑल नो दैट डेविड स्पेड प्लेड द डोंकी बट यू गेट पेड 20 25 बक्स फॉर दैट एंड टू आई And then I thought, it's more weather, it's too bad. David Spade is a donkey. This is not the Chicago Fire. The biggest stars of the MLS won't know what hit him as Chicago's newest home team wits to make history in a blaze of glory. The hell? Oh, Okay, that's an amazing commercial. Um, the replacement, the audio replacement, made it even better. So I appreciate that. It's not the Chicago Fire, and yes, that was Adobe Enhance. I know what he said. Upside down hamburger. Chat. These are very non-standard McDonald's characters. जब चारों का हुआ dance competition, तो सब की आ गई first position. I believe he said something like Grimace's nuggies are in the first position, and non-standard upside-down hamburger is going to milk him. That's what I got out of that. I don't know. I don't speak the language though. Now Walker's crisps are even more irresistible. Yeah. With 36 Looney Tunes cubics to collect. Swap them. They were cowards in not letting that granny actually be flattened. To finish the puzzle, we'll find it. We'll find your missing piece. You'd better big ears, or the girlfriend gets it. Bugs help! Who's he calling big ears? Oh, I see. They found an actor who they could make fun of. That's fun. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to be friendly to each other in traffic. You should be on the defensive. Is this granny abuse? A sign. Don't tread on the gas. Show care when swinging to the right. Oh my God! Try to be open-minded. Hell yeah! Well, I mean, whoa! Why would you do that? Turn those up as if you own the whole road. Friends in traffic—that's life. Okay. Well, man, I guess I'm not going to drive like a fucking maniac now. I just want to beat the shit out of some grannies. <laughs> Just going to work. Doing some karaoke. Is that one of my songs? Yeah, that was one of my songs. <laughs> Godzilla Auto. I actually it would probably be a uh, Gojira Auto Hitachi. The shape is wrong. Yeah, the the shape is wrong of the Hitachi logo. These are the further adventures of Captain Beautiful. I oh I hate them. Look what's happening. Wait, Jiminy Cricket. What is it? Well, it's short for Los Angeles, but that's not important now. I'm talking about graffiti. Oh, that was an airplane joke. The beauty of the city. I mean, just look at that. And and that. Look. This looks like a job for Captain Beautiful. Captain Beautiful. It's purple. No, Jiminy, it's violet. It's violet grime. Oh no, it's Captain Beautiful. Run. Quick, Jiminy, to the wipeout wagon. <laughs> Jiminy, the paint's almost dry. Give me the wipeout wand. Wall spray. Away. I think Disney gave them 
permission to use Jiminy Cricket, I'm pretty sure. Yes, you're absolutely right. Everyone can pitch in. Together, we can all make Los Angeles beautiful. Join Captain Beautiful's Wipeout team. For more information, call the number on your screen. I don't know what the fuck that was, but that looked like the old man at the end of RoboCop. And it also reminded me of how great the pacing is in so many of these commercials. Great pacing in that commercial there. It's, yeah, anti-graffiti. It's like, clean up the town with Jimmy Cricket. <laughs> I've played games on Sunday streams that have better frame rates than this. Never gamble with life. The train is fast and deadly. Oh. Always stop and wait for the train to pass. Never try to beat an approaching train. This message is brought to you by Botswana Railways. But chat, wait, you're telling me that was 3D animated? I thought that was real. That's crazy, by the way. That's fucking crazy. I'm pretty sure they're like, no, no, gun it, gun it, gun it. And then the scream. That's fucking insane, that commercial. Wow. They, they really went for it, didn't they? Non-standard Indiana Jones. Ab kimat me hera tangees kami ke saath. Sirf nor pe pachpan pe. With cigarettes. Oh. Wohi munfarid zaita. Kal bhi aur aaj bhi gold flake. Sirf nor pe pachpan pe se me. Tamak moshi se ke liye nuksan de hai. Vizarat se hai. Yeah, they could probably. I mean, that was the whole fucking melody of the Indiana Jones song. John Williams could definitely sue or dropkick. Preferably both. But yeah, I get it. It's gold. So, you know, you know like the gold idol in, in Indy. But uh, that's what a shitty reward that is. Risking your life just to risk your life again. The stream brought to you by Anti-Smokers of America. I can see them. Waiting so tonight. Come in. Oh. Washes, dryers, appliances for all your life. Come in. Oh. George's Appliance. Top name brands. Reliable service. And free delivery. Come, Come in. in. I feel like that was as much a vanity project for George as it was a commercial. And I don't think, I don't think it paid off. I really don't. Okay. Well, it's Haiti. I'm assuming this happens. I don't know. Vitamin, calcium, and poutine. Calcium and poutine. All right. Someone said ancient shit post. Apparently, that is uh, a, another one that people used to <laughs> post on the internet. I've never seen that one. It's Dodge Lands once a year. Speaking of non standard. Get the lowest prices of the year on every vehicle in stock. Excellent. Rebates and discounts up to twelve thousand. Is the owner of the That's company? Okay. That's just super diddly terrific. Rams from twelve nine ninety. Chargers from eighteen nine ninety or one fifty nine a month. Ram quads and Charger RTs just ten dollars more a month. That's practically stealing. Deal made. Dodge oh Land. Pay off your train no matter what you owe. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge Land on Greystone. Thank you. Come again. Okay. Well, now that's that's too. That's a bridge too far, friends. <clears throat> That would have been uh, that would have been acceptable in the before times. 
listen, I'm sorry to say we had to kill Hank Azaria. He's long since been dead. However, uh, what I would say here is I, I respect the passion that this person seems to have for The Simpsons. I have a feeling that they were like, you know what? I really like The Simpsons. I want to do a Simpson commercial. I think that's what they did. He was a Simpson simp. And it was actually kind of funny. The animation was pretty good. They actually drew some stuff that looked like, I don't know how close it is to Simpsons. Very non-standard, but I, I thought it was a pretty decent commercial. Let's go to McDonald's. La, 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 la. Those, oh, God. They look la, 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 even la, 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 worse now. I hate that, Ronald. Hank Buzzler. Birdie. On Grimace. Mille Hurt. Happy Meal. Kesat. Hurt up in a plato dry. La, 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 la. Let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> so it's from Pakistan. You know what? I thought he said it was flat earth time. Did, did anyone else hear that? <laughs> he said flat earth time. Heard on a construction site. Did something fall on you? Well, if you fall and get hurt, you could find yourself in a deep financial hole. Be uh, or bills. dead. Lost wages. What about the pain? Workers' comp doesn't cut it. Ah. Call us, Alexander and Catalano, to find out about special laws that can get you more. More money than they're telling you about. Hurt? Land on your feet. Call the heavy hitters. Oh. The heavy hitters are all you need. Call one 33 I'm coughing way less today, which is good. But that one, that one made me laugh. It made me laugh cough. He was falling for so long. And then the, the, the singing at the end. The heavy hitters are here for thee. The heavy hitters are all you need. Call 1-800-LAW-33. There's something I like about people who don't sing, actually singing. Like for commercials, there's just, a, there's a quality to it that you can't get anywhere else. It's great. I feel bad. My E.D. Oh, taco. Crawfish, good medicine. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Seafood City is a very pretty. Sounds like a South Park song. Seafood City, 1826. That guy was a real one. Let me tell you something. That dude probably was the salt of the earth. And did so much cocaine off of a shrimp's tits. Definitely. Also, how, how is this appetizing? Like, they're telling me to come to Seafood City. I look at this. I just see a pile of slop. Like, nothing about that looks appetizing. And then, then I have to look at this, which is also not appetizing. Could be Mario's uncle. I, you know what though? Whatever the fuck this skit was, looks like it was filmed at the local public access. Which, by the way, public access coming soon. It'll be a new segment uh, where I go through some public access stuff. We are currently uh, people have submitted some stuff. Mad Clown will be going through it, so we may take a month off of commercial chaos and do a public access segment. And uh, I used to work at a public access TV station, so. I am weirdly, uniquely qualified to talk about this stuff. Hey, this is Big Mike at This Is It Furniture, and we've been wheeling and dealing on furniture and mattress sets for over 20 years now, and we're still going down and down and down. We got queen size jumbo mattress sets starting at $298. Down again! Well, how about oh my God. $119? We got two piece microfiber sofa sets starting at $898. Down again! Well, how about four hundred and ninety-eight dollars? Nobody beats my prices. Go shop around and come see me, Big Mike. This is it, furniture. Where you always get a free onion. We're going down and free, down. Free? Uh, sorry, did you this say a free it. onion? Did you say a free onion? Wait. Nobody beats my prices. Go shop around and come see me, Big Mike. This is it, furniture. Where you always get a free onion. We're going down and down and down. This is it. Now that is not cocaine. 
but that is aggressive advertising. I, I don't know if there's market research that proves that yelling at your employ uh, your audience actually works, but I think clearly it does because I've seen so many of these. Um, however, a free onion. Hmm. Are they just advertising telephones? It's like, oh, here's a telephone. Telephones are cool. You can call numbers on them. Also, horse. I think this is, um, oh, what fucking movie company is this? Uh, Touchtone, is it? It's something like that. TriStar? Diabolo Pomodoro. Uh, Pomodoro is a tomato in Italian. And also in Polish, apparently, because this is from Poland. <clears throat> Diabolo Pomodoro. Uh, I'm assuming that's spicy tomato soup or something. Or spicy Italian... Uh, no, spicy, <laughs> spicy noodle soup tomato. I've I've had nor before. Hey, let's all go out for some healthy Thai food. Well, I want a burger and onion rings. New Lethal I just Company think I characters like, I want just a dropped. Salad. Well, we can get all that in just one location. The Salwadi Cafe on Lacey Street downtown. Those who love delicious Thai cuisine may dine along those who'd rather go for hearty burgers, chicken strips, seafood, and sandwiches. With their bright What's clean the atmosphere, music? generous portions, and generous helpings of exquisite Thai decor, they're sure to be your first choice for lunch and dinner. Visit Sawadee Cafe today. Sawadee. The music was like blown out. And and these characters are very uncanny. Well, I mean, they're not uncanny because they're not even close to canny, but they're just awful. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, man. Hi, I'm Dick Bulge. And if you can't trust your car, I'm dealer, sorry, did you say who can you Dick Bulge? Hi, I'm Dick Balch. Dick Balch. Wow. And if you can't trust your car dealer, who can you trust? <laughs> that show biz. Ta ta. <laughs> he wanted me to adjust his mirror for him. <laughs> he can't see anything now. Gallagher? Is that you, Gallagher? I'm sorry. Am I going to. Buy a car from this guy now, Dick Bulge, who owns a car dealership who hits cars with sledgehammers. This was probably like the best day of this guy's life. And he talked about this with his family for years. He was like, I, I hit that thing for a commercial. You uh, came right off. And like every time he told the story, like he did more damage to the car. He would tell the Bulge family. He would tell the Bulge family. I've seen this commercial. This is a classic. And truly awful, mind you. Hey, hey, you like chicken? You like chicken? I do. Take this. Oh my god. I haven't seen that in like 10 years or more. So I seeing Chad's reaction to it is just wonderful. Can we watch it one more time? This is some serious Holy Mountain vibes. Yeah, this is directed by Alejandro Jodorowsky. As we speak, he is directing a sequel to Hose Leg for the big screen. Hose leg, hose leg. Hey, hey, you like chicken? I do. Take this. This is an ad for a slushie. I think they just purely said to themselves, the weirdest commercial possible. Just make the weirdest fucking commercial you can. I mean, it works. We're all reacting to it and 
obviously I've been aware of this for years. So I, you know, there's a part of me that I don't even know why I know that commercial, but I do. Fantastic tiles at the tile depot. So many styles. Which Mario Brothers is this? Depot. The quality is so <clears> high. <throat> the prices are so low. The best deal in tiles. The tile depot. Get 25 to 40% off all tiles in our huge sale on now. Seven stores located in the North Island and delivering nationwide. The best deal in tiles. The tiles. It says Luigi on the on the overalls. It actually says Luigi. Um, yeah, they delivered a Middle Earth. Okay, a lot going on here. <laughs> okay. Holy fuck, what are you saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> no fucking way that's real. No way that's real. It's apparently a Las Vegas, Nevada commercial, but hang on a minute. Hang on. Did he say, I like Jesus, or did he say, I like cheese? I don't know. What a bold marketing strategy that is. I had to watch it twice. But just, yeah, having a dude talk over himself and all this crap on the screen and then saying that your commercial sucks. That's 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 amazing. Vinny, you should look him up on Google Plus. Yeah, I should. Vinny, new segment intro. Yeah, seriously, I should film myself and green screen myself saying different sentences into the eggs. Pussy? What is this pussy? Hey, jag skulle precis öppna en burk. Så jag börjar köpa pussy god bitar i fler. Pussy god. Pussy då. Vänta. Serverar du pussy godbitar i gelé för allt annat? Pussy god? Pussy för katter som pussy. No, it, no. That's from Denmark, by the way. But it says, I, I swear, it says, it says pussy, it says pussy god. Precis öppna en burk. Sen jag börjar köpa pussy godbitar i gelé vill hon inte ha något annat. Pussy. Pussy godbitar. Då. Vänta. Serverar du pussy godbitar i gelé för allt annat vänta? Pussy för katter som pussy. God damn it, chat. God damn it. What do you got there? Wow. I have all this gold. I don't know where to sell it. What should I do with it? <laughs> don't ask me. Everything I do is wrong. Tell me, what's the reason? Well, we have to find a good place. Wait until you find out where this commercial's from. You can't go wrong when you turn your unwanted gold and jewelry into cash. Stop into any of our three Empire State Gold Buyers locations today. They finally made the right decision. So should you. That's Staten Island. That is actually a Staten Island commercial. That is the best that we have to offer. Also, that sounded like Sunday Sunday by Blur. Tell me, what's the reason? Well, we have to find a good place. You can't go wrong when you turn your unwanted gold and jewelry into cash. Stop into any of our three Empire State Gold Buyers locations today. They finally made the right Kinda. decision. Kind so of. I mean, it's in, it's in the vein of, but yeah, that's, oh my God. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, that is, that is uh, the best we have on the island here. We got that. So we're going to do some poop now. This one is the guess, guess the poop. So I forgot, I forgot to show this earlier. Sorry. I shot a bear. 
In fact, it does remind me of a the world of a what? One of a Colgate? Amazing. <laughs> the one of us which is what was that? This is the confusing portion of the stream. You are weighed. Loser! You're a loser! Well, I've returned. And, uh. David Scott's curse. Taste one shocking. Sierra Mint. I shot a bear. My old. Seriously, I, my brain is just too old for this. It's too much. And he got. I got. And he got. Fucking moron. <laughs> it's a replica of the fucking. Is that Lalo? This weekend? Who's the uh -huh. to find Tom and Jerry Yowie? What? I Stop. Where? It's hard to find. Yeah, no. Tom and Jerry, yeah. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Let's do. Uh, this is video game commercials now, chat. And there's a poop for this and local commercials. So. Let's let's take a look. I like that Donkey Kong noise. Vinny, did you miss the dick falling off? I think I did, yes. Yeah, awesome Donkey Kong color. This is the new shape. The new design. The new dimension of interactive video entertainment. That actually accepts both cartridge and card software. Releasing new worlds of sight, sound, and power. For you, the Sega Master System of Entertainment. And, and then you like play a game and it's just boop, beat up, up, beep, 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 boop, beep. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's the same for any console at that time. It's just, I, I like how um, the way a lot of video game consoles were advertised, like the Super Nintendo was coming out. The only limit is your imagination. It's like, yeah, no, there's probably some limits on the hardware there too. <laughs> Impressive 360 degree battle system. What game is this, chat? It's Aretha. Aretha. Urethra. Huh. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Ants. Oh, scorpions. It's Tekken again. Tekken 3 sur PlayStation. Well, Tekken 3. I mean, it's definitely appropriate because a new Tekken just came out. So. So this is kind of cool. Oh, there's the Oath music. I didn't even know this was a thing, actually. But yeah, it looks like they actually did. They did some uh, some live action stuff here, which is kind of cool. They they built a little miniature airship. They, it's it's great. The miniatures are awesome. There's some cotton swabs. 
You can see there's like, it's just cotton balls on the, you know, for, for clouds, which is great. Not that cloud. He's not in the games yet. But um, yeah, when, listen, chat. This is what they're going to be dropping from. That's their bang bus. It'll be in Fortnite. <laughs> Check it. Bit of a tonal shift. Oh, dope. <laughs> Check this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Why does Rayman hold that much levels, piss? Massive power ups, outrageous enemies, huge features, huge game. Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. Rated E for everyone. Rayman contains infinite piss. Confirmed. And, and a massive Rayman car. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I can't believe Bobby did that to me. We're sitting there playing Tetris and he just dumps all over me. I mean, I thought we were friends. Hey, if you can't pass the test, then leave the class. Jerry, Besides, Jerry. It wasn't me who dumped on him, it was Lewis. Well then, let's bring out Lewis. Lewis, the new Tetris. Bury three friends in garbage and watch things really get out of hand. Only on N64. Yeah, Lewis. Lewis dumped on him. That guy. It's always Lewis. Classic Lewis. The, just weird that there's a whole generation of people that didn't grow up like going to school and what and like flipping through the channels and seeing Jerry Springer interview a bunch of like strange people that by the way probably were paid actors and and like just narrowly avoiding a TV fight um my clown is pregnant with your baby's mama's clown on the next Jerry Springer it's like that was what I woke up to and that's what made me who I am today chat Green Boy Advance Tomato, 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 ketchup, pepper. 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 Tomato, it's another tomato thing. There's, there's, we got some Pomodoro stuff happening. We got Tomato Adventure. I don't even know about that game until just now. So there you go. This is the new Frogger Home video game. Ribbit. It's just like the arcade game. Very lifelike. Ribbit. See, I love animated gaming commercials cars and like this. Mist. Ribbit. Past the snakes, onto the logs, oh, and the alligators in the river. Ribbit, ribbit. And back home to his lily pad. Whew. Frogger is absolutely ribbiting. The new Frogger Home video game. Bring it back to your pad. Sega's arcade game. Now a home video game from Parker Brothers. The now a home video game. I don't know. I just, I just have, uh, I just, I just enjoy the animations. Why well, does Frogger sound like a smoker? Well, it's like when you're sick, you have like a frog in your throat. I don't know. The frogs get a bad rap. It tried really hard to say Tekken 5. It almost did. I don't know this game, but it looks like... <clears throat> that looked more like a weird PS1 game than it did an N64. I mean, not that there's a limit, but that's, that's very Parappa-esque. I thought it was Parappa. So you think you're fast enough to beat the bomber? I don't think Which so. Which Belushi is this? Kaboom! By Activision. Tim Belushi. Plug this cartridge into your Atari video game system and get ready to handle high explosives. <laughs> don't sneeze. Don't even blink. Because the faster you get, the faster he gets. And if you miss... Kaboom! By Activision. Man. Just think there were there were guys like this just walking around in real life. Like guys like that. Like that guy. Like like think about that. That's so weird. 
カラクリ人形が進化ネイルが進化プリクラが進化 PS ビータも進化してこんなことになってんぞプレイステーションビータソニーフェルドビータ How dare you, Sony? When it comes to space games, David nobody、Spade? compares to Atari. Excuse me, have you compared them to Intellivision? Intellivision? Sure, they've got great space games, like Intellivision Space Battle. Just space、know. games in general. And now there's Space Armada and the incredible Astro Smash. I didn't know. Here, compare for yourself. Intellivision <laughs> Space Games from Mattel Electronics. Once you compare, you'll know. Thank you, John Oldman Company CEO. I appreciate your space games are better than our space games. I will be playing your space games now. Here is Batman. Head video spell. Which Batman is this? Oh, Joker. Yes, I have played that game. I was just trying to figure out if there's any discernible actor in the bat suit. Like if they took、uh, clips from like Michael Keaton Batman, but it, I don't think it is. I think it's just some generic like jaw man. David Spade? <laughs> yes, chat. We're just running that joke into the ground, aren't we? Like a spade. Like a shovel. So, this is a. I've never seen this before. This is fucking weird. It's the leaning power of. Leaning Tower of Pisa. I almost said the leaning power of Tisa. <laughs> but、uh, it is that, but you put like little Yoshis and Marios and, and Bowsers on it. Like, how the fuck do you even play this? Is it like, like a Jenga type? That's weird. That's a weird game. Hey, man, how's it going? Not bad, not bad. No more cowboy ghosts, right? <laughs> you gotta understand something. I ride the clansers. I have Mischief the makers. I shake, shake. I played with dodgeball with a Persian kitty. Just me, Marina Lightyear, and a lot of shaking. Oh, sure. Those bees need their honey, but I need gold gems. The professor cannot wait forever. The evil empire will not allow it. A hell of an ad campaign、no. you got here. Where are you going? Here's my new Mischief makers, only on Nintendo 64. It's a joke. They had no idea how to advertise this game because at the time, 2D games on 3D consoles, I, I think, weren't as cool. So it's like we have to make this weird and, and interesting and cool. So it's just some weird taxi guy. I don't know. Sucks. And Mischief Makers is a great game. Amano's art. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. Just show the, the game and them working on it. That is a complete. You know what? There you go. This is the driest possible commercial. Versus whatever the fuck the previous one was.、Um, Vinny, did you see that Nintendo Power ad saying Castlevania 64 was better than Symphony of the Night because it was 3D? I drank that Kool Aid. I had Castlevania 64. I was, my friend had it and I felt left out that I didn't have it. So I spent what little money I had to buy it and I liked some of it and then got to a certain point. I think it was the clock tower where it was so frustrating. I just did not want to continue because it, I just kept dying and jumping into pits. So, needless to say, I got Symphony of the Night later on, like maybe a year after that. And it was just night and day. I was like, oh my God, that game is amazing. Symphony.、Um, Castlevania 64, I didn't play the Legacy of Darkness edition. I hold that it had some cool ideas and it could have been better. Die Zukunft hat begonnen. It was okay. Bringt Farbe in der Game Boy. Robotector, der Actionknaller im Super NES. Tonnenweise Special Effects im Sega Mega Drive. Riesiges Sega Mega Drive. 
Protector. Himmlisch ist Contra. Like Value Contra. Wert um 90% Spielspaß. Das ist spitze. Protector. Action und Spannung. Fair in jedem Level. Well, it's, you know, Germany, so they had some pretty strict gaming uh, censorship things going on there, so. Yeah. It's Contra Hardcore, one of the best ones. Vario. That's amazing. Exclusive for your Game Boy. Exclusive for your Game Boy. It sounds like he's saying fucking brand something. He's angry. German Angry Wario is probably the best Wario we've seen yet. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of... Oh. Why Why World? The fuck? Is that a game? What is that? Chat. Did Konami have their own Disneyland? It's a crossover Konami game. Weird. RPG with Konami characters. Huh. Will it be you? Will your family be the first to witness the birth of the incredible Nintendo Entertainment System? The first to play with Rob, the extraordinary video robot. He follows the commands you put on screen so you get to the dynamite before it explodes. Will you be the first to raise the incredibly accurate zapper and play games like Duck Hunt and Hogan's Alley? The first to get all this in one package, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Sold. The first to move video action off the TV screen. And that's how they advertised it because the video game shit was not going so well at that time because of Atari and E.T. So they had to advertise it as like an entertainment experience. And um, the first to get all this in one package, the Nintendo Entertainment yeah. System, the first to move video action off the TV screen. Notice they're saying video action. Does the stuff, uh, stuff birthing off the TV count as shit coming out of the TV? There is definitely shit coming out of a TV. Yes, you win, chat member. <laughs> I got your wrist thingies, mate. But I got you. These are soul caliber fighters. They all got blades and sticks and such. Go in with just those. Your history, my son. What you need, Marshima san if I may. The wait's over. <laughs> soul Calibur 2 puts the weapons back in your hands, featuring classic Soul Calibur fighters. Very and guy Richie. Over 10 modes of play, and exclusively on PlayStation 2, Tekken's Hi Hachi unleashes his rage. <laughs> All right, oh no blades for you then. Soul Calibur 2, rated T for Teen. Which is cool, but then you realize there's this green elf fellow in the GameCube version. <laughs> No, it's fine, chat. This is just... They're fine. They're clay. They're, they're not gonna... They're cute. I know one of them had a pickle head, but it's not gonna get me banned, probably. Arcade Arsenal. Robocop and Bad Dudes for Nintendo. Oh. Oh. Part machine. Old cock. Wow. When I see bad dudes, I'm like, oh, I got to get that game. Just, just please have this guy scream at me <laughs> and I'll play it. Whatever you say. Oh my God. That's not Wario. Super Mario on Nintendo, now you're playing with power. Portable power. Chad, I'm sorry to say this, but that's just not Wario. That's just some non-standard weird Wario like Wario-like dude. 
I can tell those those are not Wario's lips, and that's definitely not Wario's nose. You win. Tekken Tag Tournament. Tekken Tag Tournament. I said it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> if you own a computer, here's how to get the most. This guy's coming it. out of the, the TV or the computer. Software. Get ready to write down a phone number and watch this. CompuServe combines the power of your computer with the convenience of your telephone to bring you hundreds of online services like a complete set of encyclopedias and the AP Newswire. It helps you decide on investments, bank, make airline reservations, and shop in the electronic mall. Electronic mall? With other computer How come that phrase didn't offers take off? It games that pit you against opponents around the country. You get all of course it's a dude in spandex. And it's or like, like a, country, he's just got a speedo on with a lightsaber and a, and a blaster. That's what, listen, in the 80s, that was as cool as you could be. You get all this and more, and it's as simple as making a local phone call. To get online with CompuServe and over a quarter million people throughout North America, see your local computer store or call 1-800-543-8000 to order direct or to receive a free illustrated guide to CompuServe. That's call amazing. now to get the most out of your computer. E-mall and email. Yeah, e-mall would have been great. And, and an email and e-mall, the entire internet on one disk absolutely this is the most amazing product chat i've been look uh, there's a bull and a plane coming out of the tv screen that's incredible it'll never take off <laughs> oh. who are those scummy mario models Oh, they're wonderful. Oh, God, chat. Those are amazing Mario models. So this is 1994 Hong Kong Game Boy. They're, they're so... Okay. Still better than Dorby's. Anything's better than Dorby's, but this is a treasure trove of early 3D. I, I love it. And here's some poop. <laughs> Is that me? Grand Dad! <laughs> Just dumps all over me. Just dumps all over me. Don't say that. <laughs> and I'm going for crotch biting. Wait, what? I didn't say Did I say that? on my foreskin. Game Boy. This is a lot. I didn't know. If you He's pulling his cock out. He's pulling his cock out. Everything I do. Get a free onion. You get a free onion. And don't stick your Perfect. I didn't know. Now we what? Then I'm new. Dick, get dick ball. Good man. Honey, I God damn it. Jesus. What about the Put this video if you. Wow. Oh, yeah, no, this is. This is. This is honestly like Hall of Fame poop. I didn't know. Master <laughs> system. No, stop. I don't want to hear about pussy good anymore. Pussy good, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said it, Jerma. Oh my god. That yeah, that was nonsensical if I've ever seen it. Unfortunately, that also leads us to mobile. I'm sorry to do this to you, but we, we have mobile games now. 
Uh, so, so brace yourselves. It says here, the only good mobile game ad ever made. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I, I like that quite a bit. So if you want some bird shit in your pocket, this is the best way to do it. <laughs> That's a really cute ad. Ninja and Mr. Beast have teamed up and create a secret website. To Wait, real? Fortnite bucks. Yes, it's F word true. And I'm going to show F you word true. Website, but you need to like and share before the timer runs out. Three, two, one. Ready? Here is the website. Don't actually go to that website. Fucking Christ, steps. do not go to that Enjoy website, chat. There's a lot of fake Mr. Beast. Like, there's Mr. Beast AI. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on where Mr. Beast just is advertising things. Like, Mr. Beast, um, like, tampons. You know, for, for when you got that beast in you, I think is what... Um, what he says in, in his, um, yeah, come on. Pro versus Mr. Bean. <clears throat> and then there's Mr. Beanst. Is this real? Mr. Bean Risky Rose? <laughs> I, I mean, shit. It's also rage bait a little bit. You added boiled tire in it, didn't you? Oh, no, no. That boiled tire. Better. Where is the impact? I see absolutely no impact. <laughs> Get out of here. Wait, did Sarah actually just shove the ingredients in? This is how they're advertising Genshin Impact. Sweet madam, is it? A delicious sweet madam indeed, sir. Huh? Was this put through Google Translate like 20 times? That's exactly what I'm looking for. I don't get it. What impact? <laughs> Case impact. Okay. I, I don't get it. Where's the impact? I mean, it wasn't like gross. I'm sure there will be more gross commercials to come. But uh, no, that was, I don't, I just am left very, very confused. Hey, it is purple. God, it's loud. That is loud whistling. Rage bait. It's rage baiting. Please stop. Meanwhile, she looks very happy. I hate this fox. What's wrong with it? It's nice. Le le leave it alone. <laughs> oh. What? No. It's a butcher game? Talk about tonal shift. Okay. No no real animals were harmed in the making of this 3D animation. But uh, yeah, that was uh, starting off immediately with a fucking animal getting butchered. Okay. You guys are using the wrong characters. You see, Kaya is a cryo. But this monster use Kremerald. Don't use Kaya to challenge this enemy. I can help you guys take on this monster using my thumbnail. Who's a pyro. Awesome. And I'll use my bandage, who's a pyro's buffer. But I will take my Noel quiz joke to protect you guys. Everyone ready? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. It's the final moment. It's the final Wait, moment. how do I skip this ad? Oh, I can save the monster with one punch. Let's clean it up. Wow. Genshin Impact. Team up with friends now. Wow. Okay, lower. 
All right, lower the enthusiasm level by 90%, and then you have an actual like gameplay session with gamers. <laughs> what the fuck is this giant woman is vomiting? <laughs> Wait, what's the necessity of the giant woman, though? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit! <laughs> I, I, wow. Is that even real? That might be one of those things where it's like not even in like the game. Like you see the advertisement and it's probably not that at all. But even if it was like, the, what is the gameplay? Bigger number equal better, right? So they have to de com like they have to keep inventing these scenarios. So they have giant woman with big, powerful thighs and very acidic vomit. And then there's an orc woman who's about to give you an orc massage. And so it's like, that's the way they get you is because at the end of the day, it's just number bigger, better. Hey, Dante, what are you playing? Devil May Cry. This Devil May Cry of a mobile game. Don't you know the Devil May Cry peak of combat is already online? Is this real Dante? Oh, he's the Dante is good. He's Devil May Cry mobile. Inheritance of Devil May Cry's features. Gorgeous skills. Super cool combination. Gorgeous skill. Is this Why real chat? I've seen now. advertisements for this. I thought it was fake. Download it now and experience the new plot of the character. It's it's real. Oh. It's real and it sucks. I believe it. Is that, is that there he is? That's Dante? Jesus. To get Virgil, you have to spend hundreds of dollars. And it's like they're advertising it like a mobile game too. So man, Capcom, what what happened here? What what the fuck happened? Devil May Cry mobile game is best. Dante is the goodest, and you can spend money to get Virgil. Virgil, three hundred US dollar. Please get this juice into you so you can get the Virgil. I like his cool jacket and Vic, who is now real Dante with chest hair. I like his chest hair. Oh, shoot and fight real good mobile version game. Please buy these games. Virgil. Yo, my slug brother. Want to check out an epic puzzle game? Yeah, it's slug and fun and so relaxing. Let's see if you have what it takes to defeat me. <laughs> Looks like you're still thinking of your next move. <laughs> so, okay. Be frank. I've been edging to this for hours. Love it. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> What? <laughs> Is that part of the advertisement? <laughs> brother slug brother. Oh, that's amazing. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they get they are getting worse and worse. He pissed on him. He pissed on him. Revenge. Wolf game. Play now. <laughs> Wolf game. Play now. Hang on. Let me do this right. Wolf game. Play now. That's Lois and Peter Griffin, but kinda. March! What? No! Oh, God! There's, there's non-standard. They're all non-standard. Like, Leela, Marge, Lois. I was going to say he looks a little like Peter Griffin, but you know what? No, he's just some weird generic cartoon king. 
How, wait, how does this happen where they, they make love and then they're like nine months pregante immediately? It's the power of cartoon. I need solar leads to double my solar business. Oh, what should I do, Mario? You're in luck, Princess Peach. Click on the roll to get exclusive solar appointments so you can double your solar no. business. Oh, what happened? A little birdie told me that you were looking for solar leads at a cost-effective price. That's right. Well, I'm from Solar Non-Exclusive, and I have a brand new special where you can get shared YouTube solar leads for as little as $10, depending on your location and goals. This way, you can rocket ship your solar business. What? Only $10 per solar lead? That's right. That's amazing. But what kind of solar lead is best What the for fuck me is a solar business? lead? So would you go with Mario and get guaranteed exclusive appointments at a premium? Or Wario with a low-cost shared lead solution at $10 per lead? The choice is yours. Click the link below to schedule a free call with us. Depending on your location and goals, you may qualify to get solar leads for as little as $10 a lead. Click below to schedule your free call now. I don't fucking get this. Well, am I supposed to want both? Or are both good or bad? I don't... I don't... I, I don't maybe I don't want to know. Oh, God. Here we go again. All right. Wow. Choose the next level. Play now. Of course. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Number bigger, better. Hey, stranger. Back off, he's mine. Look at these gormless freaks. Right. He's got three babies inside of her. Oh, my God. Why are they visible? Hi. Ew. Oh, lame. Time to find a new baby daddy. Try again. This just sounds like Michael Cusack. No, seriously, it sounds like the dude from Yellow. And look, she also has three weird skeletal tr children and uh, whatever. So apparently this new filter takes you directly to Ohio and I'm so excited to check it out. Wait, what's going on? What are on you here? talking People about? Ohio really build their houses in trees like this? <laughs> oh wait, this is my home, my world. You get to build and transform whatever you can imagine from double deck buses to cargo oh containers. And the reason this game is so satisfying is you get to do every step along the way from cutting your own wood, mixing your own paint, assembling your materials, and even I'm doing so satisfying confused. power washes. I've made so many different homes, but you can create whatever you want by tapping the screen to download for... I don't understand. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. There's, there's an influencer, fake influencer. We got that. You, you, I, you go to Ohio. So apparently this new filter takes you directly to Ohio and I'm so excited to check it out. Wait. What do you mean it takes you to Ohio? Wait, what's going on here? Do people in Ohio really build their houses in trees? Like yes. This? Only in Ohio do they build their houses in trees. He doesn't know Ohio is a meme now. Oh, okay. Someone just said Skibbity Farnham tax Ohio Rizzler FR FR on God. Excuse me. Any chance you need like an extra hand around here? <laughs> we take only young, beautiful girls here. Take your milestone and scram. Get out of here. Please, I'll do anything. Your milestone? My restaurant. Get out. Hey, you pretty late like that. I will report your terrible attitude. Thank you, sir. My husband lost all his money at the casino. Can I borrow your phone for a second? Here you go. Hey, try it again. Okay. Come on. Oh my gosh! It's just like playing slots in the real casino! What game is this? It's a Vegas style slots game that everyone's playing this year. It's everyone's playing it. From all the other slots. You can even hit the jackpot in as fast as 10 spins. If you're lucky, you can win five jackpots in a minute. That means you can win big without spending a single penny. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, this is this is our culture. We're, we should, we we really, I mean, every phone should just come pre-installed with this stuff at this point. I feel like if you can overcome the the allure of slot machine on your phone, then you can ascend to the next level, like, and you can like escape Earth. But you know, Skibbity Rizzler. <laughs> Yeah. You crappy frog, get the hell out of here. 
<laughs> no, leave the frog alone. It's uh, the same thing we saw before, but just you're a frog this time. You, you crappy frog, get out of here. I, I know, I saw the shitting frog. Look, now it's just, it was frog from Chrono Trigger. Wow. Hang on. <clears throat> We've got some images. Mini Tank Fire 2020 Pocket Casual Game is coming. And it's a sexy tank with BJ lips. Okay. Do we need that? Legends Scrolls <laughs> Mythic. Look, it's Limk. It says Link, but then it says Limk. But there's also Rivali, Princess, Mifa, and Ganondorf spelled actually as the characters are supposed to be spelled. Oh, God. Limk. That's wonderful. Tired of cutting holes in your pants? These Jack and Joggers have a zipper specifically built for jacking. Comfortable, convenient, covert jack off pants. Hashtag JO pants. I saw this. I actually, I did see this one. Convenient. Very human design. How fucking hard is it, you savage, to cut a hole in your pants that you need to buy special J.O. pants? Anyway. <clears throat> Here's a just a bonus thing. We're, I'm not. We're not going to watch the whole thing, fight, but no matter how big or small, has a story behind it. It's a new Tekken with Brian Cox. That's why, when it comes to Tekken and the King of Iron Fist tournament, this guy will pretty much do anything. There's one hell of a story to tell. You throw him a good paycheck, he'll he'll do it. In Tekken 8, Jin Kazama will face off against his father, Kazuya Mishima, for the last time. Kazuya is threatening... Uh, cut, cut. Uh, Brian, can can you give a little more emphasis on the ya on Kaza Kazuyama? Fuck off! All right, continue. ...domination. And since Jin is the only other person who possesses the devil gene as well, he may be the only chance the world has left. But how did we even get to this point? What the hell is a devil gene? And why do these fathers and sons keep throwing each other off cliffs? Well, it revolves around these three men. Heihachi Mishima, his son Kazuya Mishima, and his son Jin Kazama. Well, there's a lot of sons. When Kazuya was... <clears throat> yeah, I, Chad, I've never played Tekken more than a little bit. I played a little bit. I had the demo discs with it on it. Um, the games are fun, but I, I've never been a Tekken person. So I don't know what the fuck is happening here, but the fact that they got Brian Cox to say this stuff, which you know afterwards all he wanted was a McDonald Berg. That's it. He just wanted a McDonald Berg after this, and he got it. He got it. He's actually pronouncing Kazuya correctly. No, I believe it. I, I'm just messing around. Like, I'm sure he had to work on some of these names a little bit. Choosing the right move for somebody <clears throat> isn't easy. This is um, September shafted commercials. So whether you're moving across town or across so, country. This is stuff that I missed hey, in September. You need a moving company that won't monkey around with your possessions. <laughs> I knew I should have called Dirk. <laughs> Dirk moving. Delivering peace of mind. It's winter again. But why hibernate when you can celebrate? Oops. Just call this number and get a free guide with discount coupons for sports, arts and crafts, nightlife, and fun. Just call. Oops. Did it again. 1-800-VISIT-PA. I do. Operators are standing by. Not in the winter. America, stories here, 
God, fuck no, I don't visit PA in the winter. No matter how bad your circumstances are, with friends and family pricing, you'll get the best deal right up front. Are they going to wrestle? I was rear-ended in my last car deal. They wrestled this guy. Tommy Cruz? Up. So I called the firm of Dutch, Miller, and Kia, and they got me the deal I deserved. <laughs> For a limited time, I, get a what, free I thought your arm was broken. mile warranty on select brand new 2016 model Kias. Call Dutch, Miller, and Kia today. today. I, I really expected him to rip off that suit and just start wrestling. Vinny, the J.O. pants are $80. You know these guys wear J.O. pants. They have the money for the J.O. pants. Why go to the Corning Museum of Glass? We've got lots of reasons. Like 30 live glass shows every day. Shaggy? Glass? Fire? It's so Fire! Cool. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. also close to home. <laughs> kids, even teenagers, get in free. Why come to the largest glass You should glass eat that glass. Because us. it's awesome. Yeah. The Corning Museum of Glass. Kids and teens free. 19 and under. All right. It looks like candy. When you visit a restaurant, you will have noticed that there are tall servers and short servers. That's an and amazing you will have voice. also noticed that there are tall prices and short prices. Just as there are tall servers. This guy makes his own J.O. pants. There is tall food and short food. Smokies prefers to offer tall food at short prices and not short food at tall prices. The choice is yours. Brings back the good old okay. days. I bet he thought that was really clever. And you know what? It is. Graphite Gendo, Graphite Simpan, Graphite Chiagar, Grapto Kite, Graphite Kokaku, Graphite Student, Graphite Kanashimi no Ame, Graphite Tayon K, Graphite Megane, Grapto Kite, Graphite Kokaku, Graphite Meju, Graphite Duet, Graphite. Is this an advertisement for Graphite? Graphite Tsmarana Monodes, Pencils? I don't know. Chinamini Graphite was sharp shin des. Graphite, Shinto Jo des. Yeah, oh, okay. It's for reusable pencils. Well, not reusable. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Reusable pencils. What the fuck? Mechanical pencils. Thank you. I knew it was something like that. Where, where are the colored toothpicks? Where I only buy pencils I can use one time. Sorry, chat. Unless they crumble into dust, I don't want to have anything to do with them. This grocery store advertise low prices only to be out of stock once you get there. How about bananas? You got bananas? Do we have any Bobby bananas? Bobby Darren. We'll see Bobby Darren. Yes. We have no bananas. At Avco Foods, things are different. Just check our newspaper ads. We lower prices on the things you want to buy. And it'll be in stock or we'll give it to you free. I have bananas. Benny, people used to write on paper, you know. Uh, yes. Thank you, chat member. I appreciate that input. That's really cool of you. Was the paper free? Oh, man. Sexy spaghetti. What, what if you were a pizza boy and a sexy spaghetti approached you? What would you do? <laughs> pizza getty? Wait, wait, what is it in a cup for? What does that mean? Slosh? Wait, what the fuck is the product? Excellent commercial. Weird ass fucking product. The following is a public service announcement. May I help you, boys? Yeah, uh, we'll take a mint. Mint? Uh, uh we'll ski mask. add some crack. Ski mask? Uh, keychain. Keychain? And some plutonium, please. Okay, plutonium's over on aisle three. Steve Martin, Hey, you man. boys have a note from the government for that plutonium? Julia, I must have forgot it. <laughs> Sorry, gotta have a note from the government. Yeah, that's Paul Rubin's chat. Well, uh, okay, then we'll just take gum and lifesavers. Okay, they're over on aisle three, right next to the plutonium. <laughs> uh, 
Come on, come on. Steve Martin is basically playing his character from the, the Muppet movie, which is just Steve Martin. Remember, plutonium is the main ingredient in an atom bomb. Keep it down behind the counter, away from terrorists. Be wise and beware. Right, Hootie, the radioactive owl? The fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a that's a parody commercial, but I love it. Uh, that what a what a powerhouse you got there. You got Pee Wee Herman and Steve Martin in one commercial about plutonium, and and Hootie. That's really something special. Hang on, do we have Hoot Wireless? Hoot Wireless. There you go. Get a little bonus Hoot Wireless. You in need of a vehicle or service, oh God. but need a virtual process to protect. This looks you like Ben Stiller as the Tiger social King. Social distancing. Well, guess what. We got it at Dutch Miller Kia. We got online text and chat, over the phone applications, video walkarounds, and appointment only vehicle delivery. Right now, take advantage of 120 it's day payment deferral and 0% financing on most models. Friends and family pricing for everyone, even Carol <laughs> Baskin. <laughs> it's amazing how this perfectly dates itself. Like, we, all of us, have lived through this. Whether or not we have a little, um, generational gap we know exactly when this was because we fucking lived through it so yeah it's uh yeah that is astounding i haven't thought of the tiger king in a while the little monkey fell on his cell phone new corn and gorilla saw him. <laughs> saw him using a cell phone now designed to be up to two times Carl, that was a commercial mate surfaces. I saw it too. No, no, it's real. So look, monkey. He's, on, he's using a cell phone playing a game. So Ooh. why take a chance? Make sure you're ready for the unexpected. Make sure your smartphone has Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Is it, chat, is this actually good? The Gorilla Glass? Because I've seen that advertised on newer phones. Is it as good as they... They say it is. It, it is good. Just use a case. I would always use a case, but it seems like it is something that's, uh, they're the de facto industry standard. So if you got your phone like three years ago, does it have Gorilla case or Gorilla glass or whatever? Oh, okay. Never mind then. Emergency chiropractic, the kind of care you want today. We'll break your if back you for money. Accident, the kind Don't of care you want today work. can be found at Emergency Chiropractic. We treat most auto and work injuries break with your no back for money. cost. Kind of kind of scummy. Emergency Chiropractic with 13 convenient locations. Emergency Chiropractic. The kind of care you want today. And don't forget. Buckle up. Yeah, I don't really, I don't think the chiropractor is a good idea, but yeah. It's perfect music for this, by the way. Chad, I'm, I'm tickled by... <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm tickled by animals uh, doing human things in commercials. I think it's fun. Here at Rev, we work very hard taste of regular milk with 70% less fat. What's it? Okay. That was a quick ending to that commercial. Someone said, why would you say that? If you took that in a weird way, then that's on you. You just said more about yourself. I just think that it's nice when people make little commercials with monkeys on cell phones and cows working out. That's all. Doc, I have this problem. <laughs> what is this problem? I'm too indecisive. For example... When I go to Smokey's or West Fargo, I can't decide whether I want their gray steaks, prime rib, barbecue ribs, Is this or seafood. You know, they were voted years running to have the best in the FM area. And oh, all my these God. Others. We just found him. We found Where Milwaukee. Smokey's. Well, what about me? Who cares? Smokey's brings back the good old days. No, really, though. What the fuck is that accent? North Dakota. 
That's like a very Fargo. It's a Fargonian accent. I've never heard that before. That that intense. I'm too indecisive. For example. When I go to Smokies of West Fargo, I can't decide whether I want their gray steaks, prime rib, barbecue ribs, or seafood. You know, they were voted years running to have the best in the FM area and all these items. Where are you going? Smokies! <laughs> well, what about me? Who cares? Who ca uh, that's an amazing voice. Wow. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. And then for some reason they just end the commercial with them drinking milk like that. All right. That's fine. Come on, be where the action is. Jump in the car, hop a train, or ride the whitewater to Knobles, Pennsylvania's largest free admission amusement park. The attractions Does are this still awesome. exist? The action's non-stop, and there's fun for kids of all ages. Man, Knobles Pennsylvania Tourism Department is going to have to send me a paycheck and after this. World-class thrills, you've got to fly the Phoenix. Someone definitely died here? No, that was Action Park. Prepare yourself for the Twister. Oh, wait, no, Coming someone died here for sure, yeah. Knobles. Knobles is awesome. It's still still up. Huh. It's literally just down the road from me, says a chat member. Who's you? Want to go to Knobles, chat member? Let's do it. They're playing Pong with a the fly. These are very skillful cows. The fly was in. Now, you stupid cow. Okay, replay. Oh, great. Hey, with Garana and B vitamins, think of it as your afternoon wake up call. Hmm. That's another old one, apparently. Even meat eaters start off. Oh, it's this guy again. And then meat eaters get bigger and stronger. What the fuck? When they eat enough Harker's Iowa steaks, they get really big and strong. And then they can consider taking on the world-renowned Virgil Hill in really serious matters. Uh, Harker's. Brings back the good old oh, days. Oh, come on. What the fuck and why? There's there's a lot of questions I have now about it. First of all, first of all, okay, I don't know who Virgil is, but they're like, Virgil, we're going to pay you to get hugged by a tiger. I would be flipping my shit if that happened. I, I would be, I, I would be flipping my shit. Don't, they had to put bloopers in the commercial. Of course it didn't go well, 100%. What's up, what's up, guys? I, I lost my cat Kitty the other week. I'm convinced she was abducted by aliens. Oh, no, there were bright lights in the sky, and the next day Kitty was gone. It's the only explanation. And then it was starring in a commercial. Kitty! Kitty! Listen, if you don't believe me, right, there's a research center in Texas which reports directly to the U.S. government. Oh, yeah, yeah, so no, they know for a fact that aliens exist. Don't you watch the X-Files? Man, you've been watching too much TV. Oh, no, no, you've seen Independence Day, right? How about the movie Alien? Just watch the sky, man. You can see the flashing lights. Wow. Oh, this is great. There are spaceships out there, and they're watching us right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Cheers, pal. God, so much. Wait, 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 wait. This is a commercial from Hong Kong? What are they advertising? Beer? Possibly the best beer in the world? Why was so much of that commercial in English? I'm very confused. I'm very confused. I don't know. Why did Nortz eat the kitten? No, he, no, Nortz would never do that. 
But look, they actually have footage of that fucking, I don't know if that's a recreation of the scummy alien autopsy that was aired on TV. I think it is because that, that looks a little different. But they, they showed the alien autopsy as a, when I was a kid on TV. And they were like, we don't know if this is real. And it scared the fuck out of me. Moi, pour le goûter, je sais comment faire plaisir à mes petits monstres. Okay. Quelques gouttes d'orangina et leur jus. Oh de boy. Let's just move past that one. Piemu. Amasaski. Piemu. Oishi. Piemu. Amasaski. Piem. Piem. Amasaski. Poka. Piem. It's coffee in a can. All right. Okay, dollar ninety nine videos. Take one. Good day for a deal as plain as a nose on your face. Oh my god. Open twenty four hours. Goes like nobody knows it better. Hey, children's <laughs> movies. Red one, get one free. Hey, boys and girls. <laughs> What's this? Cut. Free popcorn. Very enterprising and highly logical. Cut. Wow. More stars than an elephant. Can remember. That is an uncomfortable commercial, and yet that's amazing. Vinny, we need Peanut Herman as an emote. I I think the quality is just too goddamn low. I, I wouldn't mind it, but it's just who who would know? Mario would eventually be um this. Crocodile Dundee, Jack Nicholson. This is the biggest stars of the time. That's not really true, though, because like Spock was more the 60s. I'm assuming this is this is 80s, mid 80s. God, they're so fucking weird. They're so weird. Hi, D Darby. I'm Darby and welcome to my dream world in my Darby dream house. Is this brand new? It's got to be new. Dog. And dream car. Hey, honey, you need a lift? Who the heck are you? <laughs> I'm Ken. You're <laughs> Ken? Ken, I take you to dinner tonight. At Russell's? Of course. Be my guest and let us do the rest. He's got $4 billion and his health is failing. You know, China, I need some advice. I've got a date this weekend and I don't know what to There's do. There's a crusty Ken. <laughs> Thunder Alley at Capital Lanes. What That's happened to this breed idea. of human, chat? I feel like there were a lot of those types of humans at one point, and now we don't see nearly as many of them. While you bowl, treat yourself to a double Thunder Burger, fries and Coke, a pizza or a sub in the restaurant or snack bar. You know, China, this uh, double dating that idea guy. was pretty good after all. <laughs> they were all hunted down. Uh, yes, the Great Flanders War of 2055. Best commercial so far. Te quedaste pato? Pide tu creditazo marzo banco estado. Fácil de obtener. Fácil de pagar. How many, wow, how many ducks did they hire for this commercial? My God. Creditazo, tu mejor crédito. They had to spend so much seed on these ducks to feed them, to pay them. That's wonderful. I've, oh, this is a, another one I've seen a bunch. Yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> yep. Still looks relatively new. Infinite energy achieved. Wait, I don't even know what it's advertising. Oh, it's just an energy drink. Okay. I mean, it's a good commercial. It's a really good commercial. 
compare There's that a cry to across the this. heartland, a yearning for the days gone by. And in little old Corden, Indiana, they're happy and they'll tell you why. That dude looks happy. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, it's, it's Rhett and Link. I recommend butt drugs for everybody. I can always count on butt drugs. When I think drugs, I think butt drugs. Oh, 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 butt drugs. <laughs> That's pretty good. You want hometown service? Yeah, there they are. Cheap hot coffee and liquor. Now that's the ticket. You can tell Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens exactly where to stick it. it did, did they oh, rename the place to butt Ooh, drugs, or is this a re- the original name? Butt drugs won't let you down. Free parking in the rear. Of course. I love butt drugs. It's amazing. Yeah, they listen. I, I will say, Rhett and Link. Every time they show up, it's it's usually a really silly, memorable commercial. So what they do for those that don't know, they they apparently would do commercials for local or small businesses, and they would cameo in them, and apparently just do like little, little wacky skits, and they made very memorable commercials. But yeah, apparently it was called Butt Drugs. That's what Chat's saying. The sign is old. Or the sign looks old. It does. Incredible business name. When it comes to chewing, but is a family name. Experts. There you go. Confirmed. Midnight Local just confirmed it. Stuff. Quit chewing tobacco. Mint snuff. Good stuff. You can find it whenever you go. To the grocery store. All mint chew. The convenience store. It'll be there too. Try a pinch of the good stuff. Call one 800 mint snuff. That's tobacco free, mint snuff chew. And pouches too. But drugs. But it's still in my head. So uh, I, someone just said it's painful. <laughs> Snuff is painful. Chips, I believe it. Munchies. Hey, China, there's a great game on tonight, and the guys are coming over. What am I missing, huh? <laughs> You're right. We need to make a trip to the liquor cabinet in the Capitol Lanes Plaza. See, it's this breed of human again. Is this the same guy? Karaoke? What a party. Hey, thanks for the tip on the liquor cabinet. They really came through with some great specials. Chat, you could have told me this is a different guy and a different dog, and I would have believed it. It's it's a local celebrity, apparently. Yes. What's this crying? What? What cream? His back cream. By the way, this seat. Oh, that's come! Uh, that back cream uh, is a uh, secretion uh, from the uh, Oh, apparently. Uh, it's deadly to most Australian wildlife. Oh, it's not good. And in some cultures, it's used as an effort. Why, why are you licking yourself? I'm not. <laughs> um, I might have been. Les, I just told you it's poisonous, and now you're licking it. It's not poisonous. It's lovely. <laughs> yes, and if you let me finish, you'd also know it was an aphrodisiac. Ralphie, you are so pretty. Oh, for the love of God, stop licking your glands. Oh, <laughs> look, Ralphie. A pair of shooting stars. How romantic. It's a car. Car? Where every cars are bad, right? Yes. Well, shouldn't we get off the road then? We've got plenty of time. What? Listen. No. It's only a four-cylinder. For who? Four cylinder, <laughs> not powerful. As in, by the time that car gets up this hill, we'll be. Oh. Where? Where? Ralphie? Well? Yep. <laughs> That's an Aust- Ford, huh? <laughs> That's an Australian commercial for you. Wow. That took a lot of different twists and turns. Well, so what was that aphrodisiac shit for then? I feel like that was an unnecessary B plot. I like pulping. Pulping frogs is awesome. Put that in the commercial. Oh shit. Um chat, I, this season of Vine Sauce is frog sauce by the way, so I'm accepting any and all frog like uh games, commercials, things related to frogs. I would like for this to be the frog season. But that is a terrible commercial. I hated it. I love frogs, and I'm sad that that frog got 
pulped. It's not very often that you can get handcrafted quality, real service, and save money at the same time. At Comfort King Mattress Factory, we have designed a way for you to buy a top quality mattress without Yo, watch out. Retail. That mattress huh? is behind you. It's going to jump you. It's called Eliminating the Middleman. Womp's man. Fortress? Don't pay the middleman when you can get a better mattress Womp. direct from our factory. With our fabulous lifetime comfort guarantee. Low daggers. A lot of tigers. That is a Neil Breen esque 3D model if I've ever Law seen one. We watch over our own Chicago Lands injury lawyers who ride. They're just lawyers who ride? Well, there you go. I guess that's that's the appeal. That's the appeal. You got your butt chug. You got your butt chug. Oh. I've seen this commercial. Remember, some of these commercials were just on like TV. <laughs> Yeah, they were just on TV. They were just there. <laughs> oh, this is this is a more recent TV. <laughs> oh, my abstinence ring. <laughs> no, in your other hand. Oh, this thing? <laughs> it's my new iPad. <laughs> what, 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 what's an iPad? The iPad is Apple's latest revolution. Well, I say recent, device. but within the past the like five or six years, maybe. The internet is that its name closely resembles a popular brand of sanitary napkins. Ten. What, 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 what's a sanitary napkin? Ten. Dog honky. Oh, it's fifteen. It's a napkin oh. that's super clean. <laughs> I thought it was a tampon. There's i yeah, it's Please. iPad and Pee Wee and Funny or Die. Yeah, so that's uh, yeah, it's ten like fifteen. Like a giant iPhone to me. Oh, but conky. It's so much more. I can use the iPad to read books. <laughs> but Magic Screen can read books loud, loud for free. I am Sam. Sam, I am. I will not eat green eggs and ham. All right. I get it, Magic Screen. But this little baby's got Google Maps and music. <laughs> but the iPad doesn't allow you to run two programs at once. But I can. I can show you maps and play music at the same time. Aruba, that's over here. Jamaica, that's over here. Ooh, oh boy. I want to take ya. Bermuda, that's over here. All right, go to Kokomo uh, then. Well, Where's Kokomo? You're ruining this whole experience for me. Right now, there's only 50 of these babies in the United States. And Steve Jobs just gave me this one personally. <laughs> How did you get him to give you one, Pee Wee? None of your business. I guess he was still alive at this point. Whoa, this is right older now, than I thought it was. was. Everyone in Puppet Land's due over here any minute to see me use this. Just Paul Rubens looked older than I thought, Milk? you know. Milk? Lemonade? Nice tray, Pee Wee. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Steve Jobs gave it to me. <laughs> I'll be right there, everyone. <laughs> we'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow. Oh. That's where we want to go. Way down to Kokomo. This is shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a, that was a terrible... Listen, I love Pee Wee, but that commercial was just painful. <laughs> Marty! You gotta suck it, Marty! <laughs> now that's the essence of Rick and Morty's beginnings in a nutshell. Or in a clamshell. Oh, that didn't eat, did I see? <laughs> Snark, Phil, Hon, Ladder, it's true, later. though. Hello, my name is Ivor. And I have to keep dancing. 
W-E-T-P-E-T-S W-E-T-P-E-T-S Wet Pet San Pablo Only one place where fish and lizards Hang out with cats and chinchillas Kick back with hamsters and dogs Parakeets, rabbits, and scorpions one Scorpions shot, We got it all Any pet you can get and take home Best pet products and best pet food Best pet service is Wet Pets for you W-E-T-P-E-T-S W-E-T-P-E-T-S Wet Pet San Pablo Wow. I guess, you know what, chat? You can kind of, they did try, and, and you can kind of make a song out of anything if you just spell out the letters. That's what I'm learning here. Gran? Oh, I. Skibbity. To up your snoot, eh? Good grief, boy. And Is this a train spotting the parody? Driver. You're lucky I don't designate my foot up your arse. You know they've got roadside tests for this stuff now. You get a pair of Pablo Escabans. <laughs> drugs can kill, and you can now oh, be tested man. at the roadside for them. Drive like grands in the car. Don't take drugs and drive. That is very... Um... It's very Scottish. I mean, yeah, I think train spotting because you and McGregor goes into the toilet. That's the only connection that in Scotland. But otherwise, that is just granny in a toilet. Just think about that. Every time you pee, you're peeing on granny. It's time to make the Go Wireless switch to a better phone. Choose from 12 of the hottest phones free, including the Razer. Wow. The best nationwide minute plans with my faves. Friendly local customer service and free accessories. Rewind! <laughs> Huh? Choose from 12 of the hottest phones free, including the Razor. The best nationwide minute plans with my faves. Friendly local customer service and free accessories. Go, go, go. Did they run out of commercial and just rewind? Oh, it's a click parody. Well, that was terrible. Where is that lily liver son of a gun? You looking for me, yo? Mario. Brother? I saw this Mario. What the fuck was Mario doing us. there? High new tent paces and bash. Saddle up, buttercup. Wrong. Boys, we ain't got time for this. There's aliens in the stall. There's no better place to start your what? RC adventure than Friendly Hobbies. Whether you drift, crawl, fly, or bash, Friendly Hobbies has the best selection of radio-controlled vehicles you've ever seen. And, and aliens and Mario, courses, apparently. The family fun never stops at Friendly Hobbies. It's out of this world. Friendly Hobbies, your RC adventure starts here. At some point, we're going to find out that the aliens just are not happy with us using them as ad advertisement material. They're going to sue us. Turns out they've had a copyright on their image for many, many years. That's going to be a big problem. Can Bruce has gone mad? 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 Can Bruce, 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 Bruce has Bruce gone, gone, gone completely mad? mad? Now he's twin sister presents in bedding with Madonna. <laughs> Double metal spices from 199. Then spices from 199. Watch us from 199. What the fuck? Madonna, baby, what are you doing? So come on down to Ken Bruce for the take advantage of the fact that Madonna's lost a blood sale. What the fuck? Uh, again, Australia. Looks like the gorilla is calling a personal foul. I saw a gorilla uh, basketball game. Nope, David Spade it was there. Foul, and it makes you feel foul too. It's a coach. Tobacco use, it's a personal foul. Don't use tobacco, it's a personal foul. It's a personal foul on you. Be tobacco free! And that's why people do cigarettes. They do them, chat. They inject the them directly the into their veins. Desert, to where the mountains touch the sky. Yeah. Sanderson Ford Country. Sanderson Ford Country! Sanderson Ford Sanderson Ford Built on serving From Denmark, this one. Me, me, me. 
Oh, yes, yeah, so it'll we'll just give goats beer. Uh, sheep. Sorry, sheep. Is it a beer commercial? So I guess it is. Oh. Our beer. That doesn't explain what kind of beer it is, but, you know, that's fine. You, you sold me. Did you know? Wait a minute. <laughs> what? <do> I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Why? Oh fuck! I I have. Uh... Is there subtitles? No. <laughs> no. It's a downloaded video. Oh my god! That caught me off guard. I probably have seen that before, but I just didn't remember it. Oh. <clears throat> oh, God. Pizza looks like shit. I like this one better. Did you know? <laughs> but it was a video in Raldi's crack house. Okay. Vinny, Mark's pizza was a staple of my community. How dare you? You're probably not joking. There's enough people here that I could say that. And someone probably had Mark's pizza for years. I gotta be honest, Chad, that is a very gauntless puppet. Laat je stress thuis. Neem bus of tram als je naar de stad gaat. Vinny, Mark's Pizza is from Western New York. It's really not that good. That's a shame. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of tool. Totally awesome. Dude, drive. Don't walk down a roof walking shirt. Dude, our savings will take you far to the future. I mean, come on. Do you know the UIs? SR22? Too many tickets? No walking shirt will pull one off. What? Ah, these get his feet. Body. Great boy. I've seen the piece of car insurance. Do you know what you mean? Off the ball? Precisely. And remember all of what you tried by the bird club. Well, I'm sorry, what the fuck is Vern Funk? God. Who are you? What are you doing here and where are my horses? Oh, no. No. It's like The Shining. No! Oh, it's so weird. It reminds me of the Ninja Turtle masks from the movies. Oh, what is this commercial? I hate it! This isn't real. This can't be. This can't be real. This is a joke. is a joke Uh 
Uh, that doesn't explain what the product is. What it, I'm sorry, what? Uh, I almost don't want to look it up. Two horses ad. Um, okay, it, it's it's from 10 years ago. Tattoo and hair boutique in Montreal. Two horses is a stable of creativity for lifestyle adornment in Montreal. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah, now it makes perfect sense. All right. Yeah. Just, 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 yeah. Very cool commercial to end the commercial chaos. That is the last one. <clears throat> However, I am currently downloading um, the credits. Uh, not the credits. The final, the final poop. The final poop is being downloaded, but let me read the credits to you while that's happening. So, this is... Um, we've got Mad Clown, who put this together, of course. We also have... Um, Select Urdu translations by Data Anom Anomas Block. Spanish translation by Kumino Robin. So thank you to Mr. Flipnote, Gimme, LWB, La Whatburger, Elmer Fudd, Unofficial, Elizarin, Whoop Whoop, Stan Baxen, Scribe uh, Scales, Justice Weller Cold, Gabby Gooley, Breadbug, Nick Doog, J Star Max, Taiji, Johnny Monkey, Lish. Mac Lick, sorry, Lich Massacre, Ginger Wellington, Ultra Worm, Data Anonymous Block, sorry, Data Anonymous Block, that's how you say that, Zaylock, Vulcan 64, Dalt G, Erica, Invlux, Jeremy Moon, Zex, Z E X C, huh? And Suck My Shrew. Apparently, the whole chat submitted this, <laughs> this segment. Holy fuck, that's a lot of people. Um, September shafted and mobile poop. Oh, I didn't do that one. Hang on. So we have two poops. We have the mega poop and we have the one for, um, September shafted and mobile. So we're going to do here. Let's start with this one. <laughs> Explosions uh, in the dick. <laughs> Oh, there's my, my sexy character. Wait, that's from just today. That, I made that noise? The fuck? Oh no. You know the other one? He... Yeah, of course the poop chooses that moment. The poop knows best. Why come out? Well, the. Put your dick. Well, the. You can suck this nation my mouth. Oh, come. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Need a lift. <laughs> no, I thought I turned that off. I didn't even make it. Oh god, two in a row. In his crotch. Defeat me? <laughs> that was an old cut. What the fuck is this? What is that? What the fuck is that? It's a good length. Stop licking what? your glands. No, please never that ever again, please. Dinner. Emergency Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, the skibbity granny, please. I'm relatively micro. What? 
My thrussy is that like this cock. No, I didn't say that. When did I say that? Come on. Oh. No matter how. It's all. Lewis. I didn't know. But David Spade. Dinner. Huh? Oh, you would ask. <laughs> Oh, this is insane. Fucking morons. Fucking morons. Fucking morons. Suck it through a straw? Yes, yeah, suck it through a straw. Okay. Oh my god. My brain cells are actually I can feel them exploding. They go they go like this. Like every time we watch one of these, I feel myself losing brain cells. They just explode and go. All right. One more poop. It's the mega poop. This is everything. Wrong with you. Level up. Massive mega poop. Penis pump store implies comes. Lara Croft, Viagra, and I've been edging. Wow, that was a lot of things all at once. Drink on, get your buzz on. Sex joke funny. I would know. That peewee is very disturbing. Silent. Condom, alcohol, Hamtaro. Nintendo. <laughs> now you're blue. Where you are? Hell yeah. Yeah, peanut. 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 I got gunk in my teeth. Wow, I just bought Please stop and wait for the truth. Implies come. I think that was me pretending to sing Bush lyric. Wait, what did Lime say there? I, I Implies come. Dick Sickum. Dick Sickum. Oh. Or Dick Thickum. Oh, like Duke Nukem. Got it. I, I understand now. Feet toad. Dude, I guess, guess the way out there. I saw a green Hell screen yeah. Norts in there for a bit. Why sound nauseous? Yeah, my brain cells are exploding. They're going, ah, 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 ah. My ED taco. You know the whole. Nah. It really Big likes Daddy to focus on that moment. What was that? Hang on. What was that? Big Daddy moment. Oh. Condom, alcohol, Hamtaro. I don't know what the fucking references that I'm making there. What? I shot a bear. Great. You were reading chat. Oh, shit, in your pocket. Fucking morons. I feel like David Lynch sums up everyone in this video, myself included. <laughs> it's the fledge noise. I was. I didn't know. Amazing! Wow, that was really truly nonsensical. Vinny, you were reading guesses for what the commercial was about from the chat. Oh, I just didn't realize how that sounded all together. Because when you say it all together out of context, it's it's just like Hamtaro condoms. Yeah, that's bad. All right, so I read the credits. Thank you, everybody that has participated. Um, wow, what a what a fucking commercial chaos this was. It was shit. No, it was amazing. Uh, Mad Clown, you did a great job with it. It's. Um, I'm really just kind of surprised that I'm still getting surprised. To be honest, it's uh, it's a lot. It, there's there's a lot of crazy shit out there. And I enjoyed this and laughed a lot and um, my brain hurts. So thank you for watching. Like I said, there will be probably a small break from commercial chaos for a month. And I believe next month we will have a segment called public access. 
where I watch some public access stuff from around the country, maybe the world, I'm not sure. Uh, as I have worked at public access TV, I'll be able to share my, my thoughts. It should be fun. And uh, then we will return to commercial chaos. So something a little different. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, com that's commercial chaos. So thank you. Let me jing uh, hang on. Let me jingle the keys again. Chad, have I played Sunday Sunday by Blur on stream recently as a BRB? I did, right? I mean, it, it makes sense. Within the past two months, yeah, I figured I did. So here, here's a song called Town Crank by Clark.